Hey lucky girl, how are you doing? Do you know that you're famous? So my in-laws from Arizona, you know, desert, summer temperatures have arrived and we're just trying to keep up with all the things here on the homestead. So tomorrow, two of these pigs will go to the butcher. Pigs are the only animal that we don't slaughter on site on the farm right now. Um, or that we have never done for different reasons. And one of the pigs will actually go to Mango, our male pig, and we'll be breeding. So we'll have some sausage and some ham soon. Just have some really nice products for our family. Now if you ever want to keep roosters separate from the hens, I think it's always best to have three roosters at least because otherwise if you have two they can really beat each other up and hurt each other. If there's a third one, that one usually goes in between when the two are fighting. We have, uh, let's see, six, seven roosters here right now and it just seems to be going very, very well. The best we've had it. These are the most roosters we've ever had. And the hens are getting a break and they don't hurt each other too bad. This is the most calm we've ever had it. Good morning. Good morning, buddy. How are you doing? The geese are making this extremely wet here. So because the geese are making it so nasty here, I'm actually gonna put the geese somewhere else and just have the chickens here. Because the chickens and the pigs co-live and coexist very well. They turn each other's manure into the deep bedding. I have to add some more carbon material here. But the geese just make everything so messy that it's not really nice to have them here. Lucky girl, you want milk, I know, no more milk. No more milk, you haven't had milk for a few days, you know, I know you want milk. I have stopped feeding Lucky, she is weaned now, she didn't like it, trust me, she wanted more milk, but I'm gonna continue to work with her and bond with her. The, I have needed to start feeding the cattle earlier than I thought I, thought I would have hay. A little more into the November month, or um, for, excuse me, forage, but I have started to feed them some winter feed, which is fine. I still was able to feed them for over a month and a half longer than most people, like two months longer, pretty much. I know you want milk. I know. There is no more. The time comes up for her to grow up. It's not easy for her, but she'll have to learn that right now. I'm gonna drive some winter feed to the cows here later today. What I've been doing is, I have actually been rolling out the bales on the fields to improve the pasture and give nutrient input and carbon input to build topsoil and encourage earthworms and all of that. All of that. Soon they're gonna go under the shelter where we'll feed them hay and collect the deep bedding again to co produce compost. But for right now, I've just been unrolling all of the hay and has worked great. I have a fairly cheap source of round bales right now, so that works pretty good. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Doing well. well. It's colder here than where you come from, right? 
Oh, quite yes. a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely appreciate our jackets here. So a lot of you guys remember John and Judy, uh, my in-laws from Arizona, and uh, what we shared about them, they both have been struggling through cancer last year, and now they're here, and we are already celebrated an early Thanksgiving together with them, and going to be able to enjoy a couple more weeks, and I'm very thankful for this time. Thank you to everybody who's been so encouraging and supportive yes. of, uh, of us this past um, year and a half during our cancer journey. We're doing much better. All the reports we're getting back from our doctors are good and we just um, anticipate um, getting better and stronger as time goes on. Mm. Yeah. And John, the, I think they also know that you had big eye problems when we visited you in Arizona. How, how is your eye doing now? Uh, it's it's uh, stable right now, so we're good. I, uh, didn't lose any vision from it, so in the long run it worked out well. But for most of the year, he couldn't see out of his left eye, so we weren't sure until um, October if he would even get any vision back, but he did. And, um, but just a special thank you to everybody that helped support the GoFundMe that was set up for us last year when we were going through all of that. It just, uh, you, I, we can't even begin to express how much um, it meant to us, the, the thoughtfulness and just the prayers and the love from from all of you. We, we were very, very, very touched and very, um, very humbled by all of your generosity and kindness. Mm. Yeah. One of the most amazing things on our farm is the fact that we have access to our own food that we can grow here directly on the farm and it is such a big blessing. But you do not have to be a farmer to eat this kind of food. There is an initiative right now that I just want to make you aware of. It is a group of young people here in Sweden that is developing an app that will enable you to get in contact with the farmer near you and you will have the food that they offer at the tips of your fingers and you can just use this app as an incredible way to purchase amazing locally produced food and it's gonna the revenue is gonna go straight to the farmer you're gonna connect with him or her and it's just an amazing going to be an amazing way to build relationship. I highly want to encourage you guys to back this project and get behind there because it's going to be an amazing tool for everyone. So if you roll this hay out in too thick of a layer, because they are going to soil down a lot of this, trample it into the ground, but if it's too thick, it'll kill the grass underneath and only weeds will grow through this. So you will make, need to make sure that you roll this out and spread it out thin enough for a really good result. And believe me, the result, the fruit, is going to be going to make it worth it. Well guys, it's late. My camera is starting to get really wet from the rain out here. We've had a really gray November, really gray October, and there's nothing cozier than having our home filled with beeswax candles and the wood stove burning, and now some family visiting. We're really gonna enjoy this time. We're working still to release the book for you guys, 
this week or next week and can't wait to share that with you and we're super stoked about everything i also want to welcome all the new members uh, that have joined our channel for a deeper more personal experience we will do the first live homesteading q a in a couple of weeks and hope to be able to coach you and help you out with that just so you know that and super excited stay tuned subscribe if you haven't done so for more updates on the farm bye bye